All right, guys, we are still here live, live, live in Hollywood Airport, North Perry Airport. So we are going to talk to Tom. He's going to be the one not only taking us up in the air, but uh, also the administrator of tourhelicopter.com. So uh, it's a beautiful day out. It's Veterans Day. And for those that are watching us live, great. You guys get to see all the backstage that we're doing. And for those that are watching the edited part, then you guys lost all the messed up st stuff that I said earlier. So how are you, Tom? Good. How are you, Jenny? I'm doing fantastic. We have a perfect day, and it's not windy, so I think this is a perfect day to fly, right? Oh, it's a beautiful day out today. All right. So are you a veteran by any chance? No, not a veteran. You want to say hello to the veterans for us? Happy Veterans Day, guys. Thank you. <laughs> So this must be one of the busiest days also for you guys, you know, for uh, the tours, for everything that happens. Tours might be, must be going crazy to just get up in the air and see Miami Beach at its best. Oh, for sure. Miami, it's about the only way to really see Miami and appreciate it for all it has to have. And that's from the air. The helicopter perspective is very special. All right, so tell me, how long has TourHelicopter.com been in business? Uh, we've been here now for about 10 and a half years. That's why you took over the whole airport. <laughs> you come to Hollywood Airport and their sign is everywhere. So how do you get along with everybody else? Is it competition when you get the planes next to you or not at all because it's a different experience? Well, we really are friendly competitors over here. Everybody pretty much uh, treats us all, treat, treat each other uh, very much like a family. Uh, we are the predominant helicopter tour uh, operator in South Florida. I've uh, been around for the longest. Uh, and then we've had a lot of people come since and uh, you know we all get along with everyone. Awesome. So how do people actually find you? I mean, do you have uh, packages maybe in the hotels that tourists can find? Uh, do you have a way for them to get here, shuttles or? Oh, sure. We have uh, extensive amounts of advertising reaching the local and uh, the tourist market. And we also have our ground shuttles. We pick up the uh, tourists from the local hotels, bring them here. They do their flight and then take them right back. Awesome. And how long have you been flying? Oh, I've been flying for quite a long time, probably <laughs> close to 32 years. Yeah. 32 years. Well, it's been like the roughest drive you've ever had. Or flight, I would say. No. Uh, I've had a couple of uh, weather issues uh, coming back from the Bahamas and uh, maybe a couple. Not in of a tour, right? That was just no, you having fun. Uh, no, actually doing aerial photo and video work. That's where I, that's where I started actually uh, doing that, and uh, that's where my most difficult times have been in uh, that kind of environment. Bahamas. We just got back from there two days ago. So hey, bueno, eres cubano. Así que habla un poquito de español para los latinos que están mirando. Si vienen a Miami, tienen maneras de llegar aquí en los hoteles, eh, tienen shuttles que los traen. Él ha estado 32 años en el negocio. ¿Cuántos pilotos tienes para, para eh, manejar para ti? Eh, aquí, bueno. tenemos, aquí tenemos el, el número de pilotos cambia a través de tiempo, pero ahora tenemos aproximadamente unos 15 eh, empleados que trabajan con nosotros aquí volando helicópteros y otros uh, oficios de administración. ¿Y cuántos helicópteros tenemos más o menos a disposición? Eh, eh, tenemos en, el, en la compañía seis helicópteros en total. Un montón, o sea, que tienen publicidad por todos lados a cada rato. Sí, eh, tenemos... Eh, está, el, está el logo atrás en el helicóptero. Cosa, que los helicópteros nosotros son bien eh, fácil de identificar porque tienen el nombre de la compañía, son amarillos y se destacan bien en la playa cuando vuelan por, por la costa. Y el amarillo, el amarillo y el naranjita siempre es el color de Miami, o sea, de que te distingue, tal cual como Miami TV. Bueno, estamos listos, tenemos que saber algunos, maybe safety procedures or something that we have to know beforehand, or no? No, en realidad el helicóptero es muy uh, seguro y se funciona mucho como un carro, no hay mucha diferencia un asiento por cada persona, hay cuatro asientos en este tipo de helicópteros, tenemos otros helicópteros más grandes, pero se sienta con sus cinturones y el, el, el vuelo en realidad es bien pacífico, aunque de vez en cuando hacemos unas maniobras para motivar a los, a los clientes, pero, asustarlo, más bien. Pero, pero la experiencia es una cosa bien, bien tranquila, bien sana y bien segura. En más de casi 25, casi 30 mil vuelos que hemos hecho, jamás hemos tenido lo más mínimo eh, de dificultad en nada. Bueno, quiero que invites a todo, a todo el mundo entonces, que te visiten el website, que visiten aquí el, el aeropuerto de Hollywood y bueno, que vengan a volar contigo. Sí, por favor, que visiten a la familia de tourhelicopter.com en el website de nosotros, uh, como dicen los helicópteros, es tourhelicopter.com. Estamos aquí, cualquier cosa que podemos ayudar, llamen. Bueno amigos, eh, vamos entonces a listarnos. Yo quiero dar una vueltecita a mostrar un poquito a la gente que está ahí, porque todos ellos trabajan para ti, ¿no? Sí, sí. aquí tenemos como cuatro o cinco pilotos de nosotros, incluyendo el, el piloto principal, Rafael. Ok, que él va a estar volando en mí, ¿no? Sí, él lo va a volar. <risa> el, el mejor. El mejor, ok. I, I gotta show the crew, you know, you have to... When does anybody ever show the crew on camera? I feel like, come on, they're still part of the crew, they're still part of their pilots, by the way. So, hey, we have Rafael right, right now, right? That's correct. Where are you from? I'm from Brazil originally. Brasileiro, a lot of Brazilians here in Miami. Where are you from? I'm from Belgium. And your name? Olivier. You're very smart. You have one from every country. That's good. Where are you from? I'm from right here in Miami. And your name? Tomas. Tomas, pero cubano? Sí. Otro cubano. <laughs> and what about you? I'm Hans. I'm from Belgium too. 
Hans, we have a lot of Belgium fans, so I want you to say hello to Belgium. Hi, guys. <laughs> well, how long have you been here? Uh, four years. And you're a veteran? Uh, I'm a veteran from Belgium. From Bel <laughs> what day is uh, Veterans Day in Belgium? It's the same day, 11, day. 11 of November, so yeah. Say happy Veterans Day. Hey, happy Veterans Day to all the Belgians. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so are you guys just hanging out and wait, waiting for more tours to come in, yeah? Yep. That's it. That you have Stand the shade. By. <laughs> Stand by then. All right, guys, we'll see you when we come back. Thank you. And I hope that you do the ride soft and smooth. I have enough practice. You think, how, how, many, how many years? Over five years now. Here or in Brazil? I started here, my pilot career, and uh, all the time flying here in Miami. Have you been back to Brazil or no? Yeah, sometimes I fly helicopters down to Brazil from here. Do you want so. to say uh, anything in Portuguese? Uh, po pode falar português para nossa audiência portuguesa. Venha voar com a gente da tourhelicopter.com. <laughs>